I would say to my LGBTQ family that pride can't just be about celebrating the triumphs that we have had. It also has to be about fighting for greater freedom for everyone. I want to say happy pride and I want to remind you that you are and have always been and will always be enough. The gifts that have been bestowed upon you, they are needed, they are valued. My message to my LGBTQ plus family, you are not alone. I'm here for you and I got your back. My hope is that everybody celebrating Pride in such a tough time for our country recognizes that in it we've got a solidarity that, that we can use to make life better for one another and, and even beyond the realm of the queer community. And even though now we're, we're back home, I'm still always here for you. Not only will I always be here for you, I always want to be a better ally uh, for other people in my life and my community. We are still a community, and GLAD is fighting for you on the front lines every single day. And even though you might be in a home that is not accepting, know that we're here, that this will end, and that you will be with your community again. Listen, love yourself, love each other, happy pride, and um, take this time of the year to really bask in what makes you you. Try to find the joy, my darlings. There's so much joy and laughter out there, and though it's hard to find now, I promise you, it is out there if you just go looking for it. I suppose the first message I want to give back to people is that we're winning, and I know it doesn't feel like that all the time. Yeah, there are LGBTQ people that are denied rights all across the country and all across the planet, and until none of those rights are denied to any of us, have we won? No. But um, I am very optimistic about, about what this pride uh, is, is bringing to all of us and showing, showing all of us. And I want you to remember what I'm going to remember. What I'm going to do is use this time to be more introspective, more meditative. This is an opportunity for me to show more gratitude and to think of the people who came before me who showed pride under all kinds of states of duress I just hope we can start rooting for each other even more because we as a community are doing this together. We know where we are because we've been here before. We are a fighting people and we know what it's like to come through adversity. Right now, we are centering the most vulnerable and marginalized among us. We are investigating our own values. We're trying to understand what sets us apart and what makes us part of the collective whole. All of our fates are interconnected and we should act like it. I would say that this is your moment. This is the moment you can show the world what you know about love, what you know about building bridges with people you don't know. Now's the moment that we end institutional racism. Now's the time we stop this internal racism that goes so often unchecked that queer people anywhere are responsible for queer people everywhere. Look out for those most vulnerable in our communities, especially trans people, people of color, and trans people of color. I have a message to other white cis gays who look like me. We borrowed gay pride from the Black Freedom Movement, and we have gay rights because of trans women of color. We now have a moral obligation to fight in solidarity with Black Lives Matter and to financially support organizations like the Sylvia Rivera Law Project and the Marsha P. Johnson Institute, which are protecting trans people of color. I got one message and I got one message only for Pride Month this year. Black Lives Matter. If you are not putting POC people at the front of your thoughts, especially during this Pride Month this year in 2020, you are not prioritizing the people that made Pride possible. Pride started with an idea of rebellion, with a riot, with a trans woman of color throwing a brick. We all have to fight for each other and for those who suffer the most. We can, we will, we must rebel against injustice. We know how to do it. We've done it before and we're being asked to do it again. Bigger, maybe, but we're capable of that. And I think that's something to celebrate. You know, being gay is the best thing that ever happened to me. We are all one. Happy Pride, y'all. Happy Pride. A very happy Pride. Happy Pride. Happy, happy pride. pride Month. Wishing you a happy Pride. Happy Pride. Happy and safe Pride this year. Happy Pride, everyone. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. 
Don't be just prideful. Do something about it. <laughs>